Hello folks and welcome to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. So spring has finally arrived here in Western Canada and uh, we are uh, moving outside to start working on the exterior of our of our uh, single wide mobile home renovation here. And uh, so we started dismantling a little bit here. We'll be taking uh, all of this siding off of the corner here and all this trim and this will be getting new vinyl siding on top of that. We've got, uh, uh, we've taken out the uh, retaining walls here uh, that were at the front holding back this bank. This is gonna get replaced with uh, some new timber walls, I think, uh, and step down, uh, working that in with the, uh, the new skirting that's gonna be coming in here. Uh, so if you remember from the tour we had of the outside of this home, it was a set of really steep stairs here. We've taken that and uh, we found Frosty. He was uh, hiding underneath in the uh, crawl space. Uh, so we've got him there. He's uh, on security detail right now. And uh, there's the old steps laying there that we took off. Uh, so those will be going to the garbage. Uh, this retaining wall here at the front is all uh, leaning over and we'll be replacing all of this. Uh, just basically taking it out and putting it back to, in, but all straight. And so you can see here where we've picked up some of the some of the retaining wall stones, and uh, we're just stockpiled them there for when we get back to uh, uh, fixing that wall up there. And this is a pile of paving stones that we have salvaged. Uh, they were on the patio here where there was a paving stone patio behind the deck. So right here where this dirt spot is, that's where the uh, that's where those paving stones were. So here we've got some of the old skirting that we've been taking off. You can see there where we've started to take the skirting off. And here's a look underneath the deck. And I don't know why people do this, but they always put garbage underneath the decks and the crawl spaces underneath their homes, uh, old cardboard and stuff like that. Just a good place for mice to get in. And, uh, you know, if you have one of these, don't do stuff like this. Uh, you know, keep your crawl space clean and you won't have trouble with with rodents, mice, pests, rats, whatever, um, you know, just keep it clean. As you can see, all this junk here, it just attracts mold and, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. It's nasty. So there you can see, this is what it looks like underneath a mobile home. So there you can see the uh, main steel beam there and then that uh, kind of blue thing there is with the black stripes that's the main water line coming in so inside of that there will be a, a heat pipe so this thing right here is called a crib and so that crib is sitting on a little concrete pad there and then the beam sits on top of it there you can see so uh, part of the process when we when we uh, do these is we we level them because these mobile homes don't sit on a foundation they just sit on these cribs and these cribs you can see how they're spaced every so often there uh, they do tend to settle because it is just sitting on the on the ground so over time with uh, changing um, you know soil conditions and stuff they they will uh, tend to uh, they will tend to settle and also you know if you live in a climate where you have a lot of frost they will thieve and then they come back down and heave and they do that cycle of uh, freeze thaw and then you can eventually uh, your home will go out of level so if you have doors and stuff like that pinching um, that's it's because of that you need to have a re-level done so uh, we'll be showing you that in detail how that's done but basically uh, you just go underneath there with level and uh, shim up the uh, the home to make it all level again and uh, so here you can see this is the bottom track here where the skirting was sitting in and uh, this is all coming out. We'll be putting all new stuff in here. Uh, here we can see we have a little bit of uh, rotten stuff, but that is just actually just the trim, uh, which, which, we'll, which we'll be taking off anyways. 
and uh, with this uh, there'll be a new board uh, going on here that will be uh, it's like a uh, trim board and uh, which will take care of all this stuff and the new new uh, skirting will slide up underneath that new board so here again pull this out from underneath you know an old roll of stinky carpet underneath there is all mildewy moldy and uh, you know just you don't want to do stuff like that just don't don't put stuff underneath here basically basically you know the crawl space should have nothing in it except the uh, stuff that's needed for the you know the home itself which is uh, sewer pipes and water pipes and electrical pipes and things like that so there you can see the main sewer pipe going through uh, underneath and so that's coming in from comes from the inside of the unit and then that will go to the main sewer there again this uh, blue line right in front of us is the is the water line so we'll be taking all that insulation off there and inside of that is an old heat tape we don't know if it's working or not so we're just going to replace it they're not that expensive and uh, it's just not worth uh, messing around with just just we just, we just replace them last thing you want to do is to have to go underneath here in the middle of january when it's cold and freezing because uh heat tape quit working and you have uh, a frozen pipe now uh, done that and it's no fun so this all will be getting all this garbage will be taken out of here and we will be uh, raking this all clean and then we're going to give it a hose out underneath here uh, just wash it all out uh, before we start putting everything back together so this is the electrical here for the uh, for the heat tape and the orange cord there is actually the heat tape and uh, again that's going to all be re be replaced shouldn't be laying on the ground like that that's not proper uh, everything will be put back into order so again, this 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 board here is all going to get taken off. So it's kind of that's the board that's kind of a little bit rotten down there, but it's all coming off anyway, so it's not an issue. As well, we'll be taking off all this trim around these windows. We're going to be putting in new windows here, and uh, then it's going, it's going to get a new trim. It's going to be uh, uh, like a hardy uh, board smart trim. So today I'm working on this skirting here. I'll be taking the rest of the skirting off uh, around the corner here. I want to get it opened up and get it get it airing out. We've had some varmints living underneath here, and they've left their uh, they've left their stuff behind, and it's kind of smelly. So that was all going to get cleaned out. So now, also today I'm going to be working on getting these uh, back stairs out and you can just see what we've got going on here it's just crazy stuff previous owner did here like, I don't know what this is all about but uh, you can see they put some kind of I, I don't know it's like a rag or something it's kind of weird got uh, masking tape to try and seal up something there I don't know what's going on with that but uh, this is all rotten it's all gonna come out we're going to clean up this corner back in here and uh, back in here this will get all uh, landscaped with some gravel or something like that and uh, that's where the uh, this home does not have air conditioning when we put the new furnace in uh, we'll be putting in a uh, central air conditioning system and the condenser unit will sit outside right here on a, on a pad just on the other side of that so these uh, st new steps will be all pressure treated the stuff here is not treated that's why it's rotted the rails are going to be uh, replaced with uh, powder coated aluminum okay so that's a quick update here folks on on uh, where we're at and uh, so now we're going to be concentrating on the outside here for the next few months and we want to get the outside of this one all done up before we uh, go back inside so another thing that's going to be done well that sheds coming out of there 
and uh, that fence but we're going to be working on the on the unit here itself first and uh, then once we get done with that then we'll we'll go over there and work on that uh, so thanks for watching folks and uh, if you like this video give us a thumbs up and uh, share it and uh, if you uh, want to follow along with us on uh, on this project then uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll, uh, we'll let you know when we put up a new video and uh, once again thanks for watching see you next time